AMD, last week we talked about a Xilinx acquisition and a pretty massive earnings beat. And uh, the company is doing more. Big Navi, what's going on? Yeah, so a little background here. Uh, as you've seen, AMD is very strong in CPU, uh, notebook, desktop, and, and server. Uh, the big question mark is, uh, could AMD bring that level of success to its GPUs? Now, AMD has very uh, uh, very solid market share in mid-range and entry-level discrete GPUs, but the big question is, could they actually give NVIDIA a run for their money at the highest performance consumer GPUs? It's literally been 10 years uh, since that was the case. Now, the Radeon 7 got close, but it had high bandwidth memory. Uh, it was very expensive and, and limited in the amount that they actually made. I, I think they were putting $200 bills in every one of them that they sold. Uh, I actually have one in my system uh, uh, right now. But with that said, could they do this? Uh, and at least on paper, uh, on what they showed, uh, the 6800 XT, the 6800, and then in beast mode, the RX 6900 XT lined up pretty competitively uh, against NVIDIA at a lower price. Now, I feel like I've seen uh, some of this commentary before from AMD. Um, I think we do need more competition. So I am hoping that this is actually true because there hasn't been a whole lot of competition at the high end as it relates to uh, gamers. And um, one thing, uh, let's just say AMD wins on non-ray tracing, non-AI performance, then that, that begs the question, well, what about ray tracing games? I, I think when at the end, I think NVIDIA will likely have higher performance ray tracing performance, but I think uh, due to AMD being in Sony and Microsoft consoles, uh, we will likely uh, have more titles to support ray tracing by AMD. Now that is just, that is my educated guess here. Uh, and we're gonna have to see if, if, this is, uh, if this is the case. Now, the other thing that came up too, and I love this, AMD's Frank Azor, uh, previously from Dell, uh, did a great video, which I urge everybody to look at, showing the combination of the new desktop uh, 5000 series connected to this new uh, Radeon 6000 uh, series. So it's kind of AMD plus AMD uh, type of configuration. Now that uh, we may not have seen, you know, for 12 years or 15 years, I'll have to go back and, and do my notes. But my final question is, uh, I'm wondering how this bodes for a, an improved data center portfolio using uh, this seven nanometer uh, uh, big Navi, because uh, that's very important. And quite frankly, on the training side, NVIDIA has that all to themselves. And I think that has a lot to do with their valuation. Absolutely, Pat. Uh, you know, you talked about oxygen, not a lot, a lot left here. Um, so, you know, we're gonna, I'm just going to throw that one back at you like, like a grenade. Um, but in all serious, uh, look, what I see here is competition. Uh, NVIDIA, as you just suggested, hasn't had a lot um, in this particular space. And so, you know, Pat, I don't think we've done a, a, an AMD sort of NVIDIA, uh, you know, gaming GPU uh, comparative 6.5 commentary in over a year. I mean, there yeah. used to be a lot of that kind of back and forth. And it seems like over the last year, NVIDIA's gained a lot of momentum here. So it's good to see AMD stepping in and, and continuing to put pressure, which I think will only continue to, you know, develop better and better technologies that gamers are going to love. And I'm not a gamer. I do play FIFA sometimes, but I do find the technology to be pretty outstanding. When they show the way ray tracing and these technologies, Pat, and AI are now enhancing uh, these these games like Fortnite, it is insane the level of depth and quality of imagery. And so I, uh, I love watching the innovation and the competition and the leapfrogging. So good stuff here. 